Pineal Gland, Wikipedia Article Audio The pineal gland, also known as the conarium or epiphysis cerebri, is a small endocrine gland in the vertebrate brain. The pineal gland produces melatonin, a serotonin-derived hormone which modulates sleep patterns in both circadian and seasonal cycles. The shape of the gland resembles a pine cone, hence its name. The pineal gland is located in the epithalamus, near the center of the brain, between the two hemispheres, tucked in a groove where the two halves of the thalamus join. Structure Nearly all vertebrate species possess a pineal gland. The most important exception is a primitive vertebrate, the hagfish. Even in the hagfish, however, there may be a pineal equivalent structure in the dorsal diencephalon. The lancelet branchiostoma lanceolatum, the nearest existing relative to vertebrates, also lacks a recognizable pineal gland. The lamprey, however, does possess one. A few more developed vertebrates lost pineal glands over the course of their evolution. The results of various scientific research in evolutionary biology, comparative neuroanatomy, and neurophysiology, have explained the phylogeny of the pineal gland in different vertebrate species. From the point of view of biological evolution, the pineal gland represents a kind of atrophied photoreceptor. In the epithalamus of some species of amphibians and reptiles, it is linked to a light-sensing organ, known as the parietal eye, which is also called the pineal eye or third eye. Blood supply René Descartes believed the pineal gland to be the principal seat of the soul. Academic philosophy among his contemporaries considered the pineal gland as a neuroanatomical structure without special metaphysical qualities, science studied it as one endocrine gland among many. However, the pineal gland continues to have an exalted status in the realm of pseudoscience. Nerve Supply The pineal gland is a midline brain structure that is unpaired. It takes its name from its pine cone shape. The gland is reddish-gray and about the size of a grain of rice in humans. The pineal gland, also called the pineal body, is part of the epithalamus, and lies between the laterally positioned thalamic bodies and behind the habenula commissure. It is located in the quadrigeminal cistern near to the corpora quadrigemina. It is also located behind the third ventricle and is bathed in cerebrospinal fluid supplied through a small pineal recess of the third ventricle which projects into the stalk of the gland. Microanatomy Unlike most of the mammalian brain, the pineal gland is not isolated from the body by the blood-brain barrier system, it has profuse blood flow, second only to the kidney, supplied from the choroidal branches of the posterior cerebral artery. Development The pineal gland receives a sympathetic innervation from the superior cervical ganglion. A parasympathetic innervation from the pterygopalatin and otic ganglia is also present. Further, some nerve fibers penetrate into the pineal gland via the pineal stalk. Also, neurons in the trigeminal ganglion innervate the gland with nerve fibers containing the neuropeptide PACAP. Symmetry the pineal body consists in humans of a lobular parenchyma of pinealocytes surrounded by connective tissue spaces. The gland surface is covered by a pial capsule. The pineal gland consists mainly of pinealocytes, but four other cell types have been identified. As it is quite cellular, it may be mistaken for a neoplasm. Function Regulation of the pituitary gland Drug metabolism Regulation of bone metabolism 
In some parts of the brain and in particular the pineal gland, there are calcium structures, the number of which increases with age, called corpora arenacea. Chemical analysis shows that they are composed of calcium phosphate, calcium carbonate, magnesium phosphate, and ammonium phosphate. In 2002, deposits of the calcite form of calcium carbonate were described. Calcium and phosphorus deposits in the pineal gland have been linked with aging. The human pineal gland grows in size until about 1-2 years of age, remaining stable thereafter, although its weight increases gradually from puberty onwards. The abundant melatonin levels in children are believed to inhibit sexual development, and pineal tumors have been linked with precocious puberty. When puberty arrives, melatonin production is reduced. In the zebrafish the pineal gland does not straddle the midline but shows a left-sided bias. In humans, functional cerebral dominance is accompanied by subtle anatomical asymmetry. The primary function of the pineal gland is to produce melatonin. Melatonin has various functions in the central nervous system, the most important of which is to help modulate sleep patterns. Melatonin production is stimulated by darkness and inhibited by light. Light-sensitive nerve cells in the retina detect light and send this signal to the suprachiasmatic nucleus, synchronizing the SCN to the day-night cycle. Nerve fibers then relay the daylight information from the SCN to the paraventricular nuclei, then to the spinal cord and via the sympathetic system to superior cervical ganglia and from there into the pineal gland. The compound pinoline is also claimed to be produced in the pineal gland, it is one of the beta-carbolines. This claim is subject to some controversy. Studies on rodents suggest that the pineal gland influences the pituitary gland s secretion of the sex hormones, follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. In a study by Mata, Frostini, and Martini, a pinealectomy was performed on rodents. No change in pituitary weight was observed, however there was an increase in the concentration of FSH and LH within the gland. In this same study, administration of melatonin did not return the concentrations of FSH to normal levels suggesting that the pineal gland influences the pituitary gland's secretion of FSH and LH through some other transmitting molecule. Studies on rodents suggest that the pineal gland may influence the actions of recreational drugs, such as cocaine, and antidepressants, such as phloxidin, and that its hormone melatonin can protect against neurodegeneration. Studies in mice suggest that the pineal-derived melatonin regulates new bone deposition. Pineal-derived melatonin mediates its action on the bone cells through MT2 receptors. This pathway could be a potential new target for osteoporosis treatment as the study shows the curative effect of oral melatonin treatment in a postmenopausal osteoporosis mouse model. Calcification of the pineal gland is typical in young adults, and has been observed in children as young as two years of age. Calcium and phosphorus deposits in the pineal gland have been correlated with aging. By old age, the pineal gland contains about the same amount of fluoride as teeth. Pineal fluoride and pineal calcium are correlated. The calcified gland is often seen in skull X-rays. Calcification rates vary widely by country and correlate with an increase in age, with calcification occurring in an estimated 40% of Americans by their 17th year. Calcification of the pineal gland is largely associated with corpora arenacea, also known as brain sand. It seems that the internal secretions of the pineal gland inhibit the development of the reproductive glands, because, 
in cases where it is severely damaged in children, the result is accelerated development of the sexual organs and the skeleton. Some studies show that the degree of pineal gland calcification is significantly higher in patients with Alzheimer's disease versus other types of dementia. Pineal gland calcification may contribute to the pathogenesis of Alzheimer's disease and may reflect an absence of crystallization inhibitors. Calcification of the pineal gland has also been found to be closely associated to certain types of migraines as well as cluster headaches. Tumors of the pineal gland are called pinealomas. These tumors are rare and 50% to 70% are German omas that arise from sequestered embryonic germ cells. Histologically they are similar to testicular seminomas and ovarian dysgerminomas. A pineal tumor can compress the superior colliculi and pretectal area of the dorsal midbrain, producing Parinose syndrome. Pineal tumors also can cause compression of the cerebral aqueduct, resulting in a noncommunicating hydrocephalus. Other manifestations are the consequence of their pressure effects and consist of visual disturbances, headache, mental deterioration, and sometimes dementia-like behavior. These neoplasms are divided into three categories, pineoblastomas, pineocytomas, and mixed tumors, based on their level of differentiation, which, in turn, correlates with their neoplastic aggressiveness. The clinical course of patients with pineocytomas is prolonged, averaging up to several years. The position of these tumors makes them very difficult to remove surgically. Most living vertebrates have pineal glands. It's likely that the common ancestor of all vertebrates had a pair of photosensory organs on the top of its head, similar to the arrangement in modern lampreys. Some extinct Devonian fishes have two parietal foramina in their skulls, suggesting an ancestral bilaterality of parietal eyes. The parietal eye and the pineal gland of living tetrapods are probably the descendants of the left and right parts of this organ, respectively. During embryonic development, the parietal eye and the pineal organ of modern lizards and tuataras form together from a pocket formed in the brain ectoderm. The loss of parietal eyes in many living tetrapods is supported by developmental formation of a paired structure that subsequently fuses into a single pineal gland in developing embryos of turtles, snakes, birds, and mammals. The pineal organs of mammals fall into one of three categories based on shape. Rodents have more structurally complex pineal glands than other mammals. Crocodilians and some tropical lineages of mammals, pangolins, cyrenians, and some marsupials have lost both their parietal eye and their pineal organ. Polar mammals, such as walruses and some seals, possess unusually large pineal glands. All amphibians have a pineal organ, but some frogs and toads also have what is called a frontal organ, which is essentially a parietal eye. Pinealocytes in many non-mammalian vertebrates have a strong resemblance to the photoreceptor cells of the eye. Evidence from morphology and developmental biology suggests that pineal cells possess a common evolutionary ancestor with retinal cells. Pineal cytostructure seems to have evolutionary similarities to the retinal cells of the lateral eyes. Modern birds and reptiles express the phototransducing pigment melanopsin in the pineal gland. Avian pineal glands are thought to act like the suprachiasmatic nucleus in mammals. The structure of the pineal eye in modern lizards and tuatara is analogous to the cornea, lens, and retina of the lateral eyes of vertebrates. In most vertebrates, exposure to light sets off a chain reaction of enzymatic events within the pineal gland that regulates circadian rhythms. In humans and other mammals, 
the light signals necessary to set circadian rhythms are sent from the eye through the retinohypothalamic system to the suprachiasmatic nuclei and the pineal gland. Clinical Significance The fossilized skulls of many extinct vertebrates have a pineal foramen, which in some cases is larger than that of any living vertebrate. Although fossils seldom preserve deep brain soft anatomy, the brain of the Russian fossil bird Sirbavis senomanica from Melovitka, about 90 million years old, shows a relatively large parietal eye and pineal gland. 17th century philosopher and scientist Rene Descartes was highly interested in anatomy and physiology. He discussed the pineal gland both in his first book, The Treatise of Man, and in his last book, The Passions of the Soul and he regarded it as the principal seat of the soul and the place in which all our thoughts are formed. In The Treatise of Man, Descartes described conceptual models of man, namely creatures created by God, which consist of two ingredients, a body and a soul. In The Passions, Descartes split man up into a body and a soul and emphasized that the soul is joined to the whole body by a certain very small gland situated in the middle of the brain's substance and suspended above the passage through which the spirits in the brain's anterior cavities communicate with those in its posterior cavities. Descartes attached significance to the gland because he believed it to be the only section of the brain to exist as a single part rather than one half of a pair. Most of Descartes' basic anatomical and physiological assumptions were totally mistaken, not only by modern standards, but also in light of what was already known in his time. The notion of a pineal eye is central to the philosophy of the French writer Georges Bataille, which is analyzed at length by literary scholar Denis Hollier in his study against architecture. In this work Hollier discusses how Bataille uses the concept of a pineal eye as a reference to a blind spot in Western rationality, and an organ of excess and delirium. This conceptual device is explicit in his surrealist texts, the Jesuva and the Pineal Eye. In the late 19th century Madame Blavatsky identified the pineal gland with the Hindu concept of the Third Eye, or the Ajna Chakra. This association is still popular today. Rick Strassman, an author and clinical associate professor of psychiatry at the University of New Mexico School of Medicine, has theorized that the human pineal gland is capable of producing the hallucinogen and N-dimethyltryptamine under certain circumstances. In 2013 he and other researchers first reported DMT in the pineal gland microdialysate of rodents. Strassman also claimed that the pineal gland is therefore fundamental to mystical experience, which psychomericologist David E. Nichols of Purdue University argues is unlikely. In the short story From Beyond by H. P. Lovecraft, a scientist creates an electronic device that emits a resonance wave, which stimulates an affected person's pineal gland thereby allowing her or him to perceive planes of existence outside the scope of accepted reality, a translucent, alien environment that overlaps our own recognized reality. It was adapted as a film of the same name in 1986. The 2013 horror film, Banshee Chapter is heavily influenced by this short story. The secretory activity of the pineal gland is only partially understood. Its location deep in the brain suggested to philosophers throughout history that it possesses particular importance. This combination led to its being regarded as a mystery gland with mystical, metaphysical and occult theories surrounding its perceived functions. Calcification the pineal gland was originally believed to be a vestigial remnant of a larger organ. In 1917, it was known that extract of cow pineals lightened frog skin. 
Dermatology Professor Aaron B. Lerner and colleagues at Yale University, hoping that a substance from the pineal might be useful in treating skin diseases, isolated and named the hormone melatonin in 1958. The substance did not prove to be helpful as intended, but its discovery helped solve several mysteries such as why removing the rat's pineal accelerated ovary growth why keeping rats in constant light decreased the weight of their pineals, and why pinealectomy and constant light affect ovary growth to an equal extent, this knowledge gave a boost to the then new field of chronobiology. Tumors Other Animals Society and Culture History The pineal body is labeled in these images. Mesal aspect of a brain sectioned in the median sagittal plane. Dissection showing the ventricles of the brain. Hind and mid brains, enterolateral view. Median sagittal section of brain. Pineal gland. Brain stem. Posterior view.